This video is for all the professionals working on the profile of metallurgical and materials engineers and are willing to migrate to or work in Canada. It will provide you an in-depth knowledge about the National Occupational Classification Code of Metallurgical and Materials Engineers. So, let's start the video. Hi, I am Lily and welcome to our channel A2Z Immigration Updates. We make informational and latest news videos regarding global immigration. Watch this video till the end and don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon, so that you can get the most updated immigration news and information. In Canada every skill profile has a unique code that is called National Occupational Classification Code or NOC Code. This code tells us about the detailed information associated with a profile and regarding the key parameters like Profile Description or Profile Lead Statements Key Responsibility Area and Damp Main Job Duties Employment Requirements Alternative and Illustrative Job Titles Job Titles in Exclusion So, first of all let's see the NOC code and its description for the profile of this video. The National Occupation Classification Code or NOC code for the profile of Metallurgical and Materials Engineers is 2142. As per Statistics Canada, the profile description of metallurgical and materials engineers is as follows. Metallurgical and materials engineers conduct studies of the properties and characteristics of metals and other non-metallic materials and plan, design, and develop machinery and processes to concentrate, extract, refine and process metals, alloys, and other materials such as ceramics, semiconductors and composite materials. Metallurgical and materials engineers are employed in consulting engineering firms, mining, metal processing and manufacturing companies, and in government, research, and educational institutions. Key Responsibility Area Human Resources and Skill Development Canada has defined a proper set of job roles for every NOC code. There is not any fixed guideline for meeting all the requirements. As per the recommendation of experts a person should meet at least 50% of the job responsibilities, mentioned in the NOC code. Now let's discuss the key job responsibilities associated with your profile. So, here we go. Main job duties of an metallurgical and materials engineers are as follows. Conduct studies and design, develop and specify the processes, and machinery to concentrate, extract, refine, and process metals from ores. Conduct studies on the properties and characteristics of materials and design, develop and specify processes for molding, shaping, forming and thermal treatment of metals, alloys, and metallic systems, ceramics, semiconducting and other materials. Conduct chemical and physical analytical studies, failure analyses, and other studies and recommend material selection, design of materials, corrosion control measures, operational testing, and other procedures. Coordinate production testing and control of metal refining, smelting, or foundry operations or non-metallic materials production operations. Supervise technologists, technicians, and other engineers and scientists. Employment requirements and other additional information. In this section we will discuss the employment requirements for your profile. Every job has a specific set of employment requirements associated with it. The main employment requirements factors includes 1. Type and level of formal education 2. Specific training or apprenticeship 3. Experience in the same or other related occupations 4. Licenses certification and registration to practice in a regulated profession extra. Before moving further let's understand the employment eligibility requirements and other additional information associated with your profile. Following our employment requirements for the profile of metallurgical and materials engineers. A bachelor's degree in metallurgical, materials, ceramic or chemical engineering or in a related engineering discipline is required. A master's degree or doctorate in a related engineering discipline may be required. Licensing by a provincial or territorial association of professional engineers is required to approve engineering drawings and reports and to practice as a professional engineer, P. English. 
Engineers are eligible for registration following graduation from an accredited educational program, and after three or four years of supervised work experience in engineering and passing a professional practice examination. Illustrative job titles and exclusions. Every job role or employment can have multiple profile titles. So if you are not able to find the exact job title for your profile then you need not to worry. Now we will see the list of illustrative and alternative titles for your profile. This section is a list of titles commonly used in the labor market. We will also see the exclusions list that is the list of titles that cannot be covered under your profile. So let's have a glimpse of it. Illustrative titles for the profile of metallurgical and materials engineers are as follows. Ceramics engineer. Corrosion engineer. Electrometallurgical engineer. Foundry engineer. The list is quite large, so, if you want to read all the alternative profile titles then you can pause this video and can have a proper glimpse. Now let's see the exclusion list. Chemical Engineers, C2134 Chemical Engineers Chemists, C2112 Chemists Engineering Managers, C0211 Engineering Managers Mining Engineers, C2143 Mining Engineers So, this was all about the profile of Metallurgical and Materials Engineers with NOC Code, 2142. We at Brain Drain Consultants Private Limited helps you to migrate to Canada on work permit or on PR. Our motive is to convert your immigration dreams into reality. We assist you in Canadian style resume and cover letter preparation, mapping the best employment opportunities with your skill set, employment consultation and job search, online skill profile preparation and branding, education credential assessment filing Canada, migration skill assessment filing Australia. Expression of Interest EUI Filing LMIA Work Visa PR Business Visa Filing If you need any further information, then you can contact our team of expert registered migration and employment consultants. Our team will help you to explore the employment, work visa and other immigration opportunities for your profile in Canada and Australia. Click on the booking link mentioned in the description to reserve an expert session for a detailed discussion to explore your immigration opportunities. We also assist employers to file LMIA with Employment and Social Development Canada ESDC. So if you are an employer in Canada we can help you to get the best manpower for your company. Canadian immigration is a merit-based immigration process and your selection under most of the immigration programs depends upon your age. Education, Experience, English Language Capability, Spouses Educations and Experience, Employment Availability through LMIA, Provincial Nomination Extra. We at Brain Drain Consultants Private Limited provide a one-stop online platform with all kind of immigration services for our global customers. You can have online consultancy sessions, assessment application filing and all kind of visa processing assistance by our team of experts. If you want to do a self-assessment and check your eligibility for immigration, then click on the link attached in the description and download our app to do your immigration assessment yourself. Also watch our other videos related to work visa filing and finding a job in Canada from your home country. So, if you like our video then don't forget to subscribe, like and share our YouTube channel. Also hit the bell icon to get the most updated information regarding global immigration. Thanks, and we will meet again with one another informative video soon.